Hey, how you doing, Map here, Map Investments? Been about a week. Um, just busy uh, with uh, family stuff and and spend the weekend, a uh, nice weekend with the family down uh, in, uh, in the Keys, relaxing time. Um, but I wanted to do a video because I haven't done a video in a week or so, so sorry about that. Um, the, the market's been pretty, you know, stable. We're making new highs, so um, we'll, we'll go through the, the news and um, and some of the futures and uh, some, of the, some of the trends that I see out there and some of the, the ones that, I, that I've been holding that that have been working for me and doing well. Um, so today, big news today was um, Biogen. Biogen got approved for uh, for uh, an Alzheimer's uh, drug. So that was that was pretty pretty big and and that's a that's a great thing, you know, because that's a horrible horrible disease. So it was it was nice to see Biogen uh, get this drug approved. I think the stock um, was up pretty big. Uh, I think at one point it hit uh, like four hundred and fifty dollars. Uh, uh, yeah, it hit four sixty eight today. So that's that's nice to see uh, a a drug that that helps folks um, with that horrible disease. Uh, says your Fed is in early stages of campaign to com to prepare markets for tapering. I honestly don't think that's gonna happen. Um, I think they're 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 pretty much in a in a catch twenty two. I think they're in a bad position. I think they're actually trapped. But we shall see um, what happens. Um, it says here, U.S. recovers two point three million in Bitcoin paid in Colonial Pipeline ransom. So that's good. Um, says here, Jim Cramer says, Yellen's interest rate comments spooked the market. Um, it's going to be hard to do that. And if they do start raising interest rates, uh, we, are, we are going to see some serious volatility and some serious uh, move to the downside, in my opinion. Uh, Stitch, Stitch Fix reported after the bell and they soared. I think, that, I, think I saw it uh, here in the ticker. Uh, late in the evening, uh, yeah, up 16% after hours, so that's good for them. They do like online uh, sales uh, of like stuff that people make, and, and I think it's more like clothing and uh, clothes and stuff like that. Um, on the on the news front, I think um, let's take a look at the um, not the news front, the economic calendar. Take a look at the calendar. Um, calendar. Let's see here. Um, we got the jolts. That's a pretty, uh, pretty um, important uh, report. That's tomorrow at ten. It shows how many uh, job openings are out there. And I think, well, on Thursday should be the jobless claims. And also on Thursday, there's the agricultural report. That's pretty important. Um, I think that's pretty much it. You got consumer sentiment on Friday and the, the, the Baker Hugh count, uh, rig count um, for oil. And then on the earnings front, I think earnings have wind down. Remember, we're getting into summer now, so it becomes a little bit more quiet on the earnings front. Um, today, you had Marvell; they did nice. Stitch Fix up twenty percent after hours. Coupa uh, down almost six percent. Uh, Valley Resource down a little bit. Um, G. I, 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 apparel did pretty good. Um, so you got 11 today, 19 tomorrow, 15 on Wednesday, 18 on Thursday, and only two on Friday. So it's a very light week. Um, like I said, we're going into summer. Um, the following week uh, would be, uh, let's see here, 
Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday. Um, yeah, so the next week would be 14, 15, uh, let's see, 2, 7, 1, 5. Friday says 145. That would be a big day if it had all those earnings. That's a, that's a lot of earnings in a day. Yeah, that's pretty quiet for the rest of the month, except that Friday if it has 145. So you got to just got to confirm to see if that's accurate on that Friday. There's a lot of earnings. Um, on the markets, the dollar is hanging around 90. Uh, there it is, 90. And dollar foreign currencies are down. Uh, Bitcoin's down 2,185. And I think there's rumors that anonymous is going after uh, Elon or something. I, I, I would have to do more research, but that's some of the rumors. And uh, Bitcoin has to hold that 30K level. Um, if it don't hurt that, if it don't hold that 30K level, I mean, I think we can see 20K pretty quick. And then all bets are off after under 20K. So keep a close eye on that. Um, I have no position in Bitcoin um, at the moment. Uh, oil hanging around 70. Um, S&P of 5 at 42.30. And we're basically at, uh, I think we're basically at all-time highs pretty much. Uh, let's take a look at the daily. Uh, well, actually, let's take a look at the month, the year. And then maybe just do it by uh, by week. Uh Yeah. So 42.38 is the all-time high. So we're, we're right off the highs. Okay, so uh, I know that um, I saw over the weekend that uh, Investor Business Daily uh, put the market back on a confirmed uptrend. So that's a good thing for the bulls and for the 401ks out there. Uh, gold over 1900 and holding strong. Uh, the meats uh, feeders are pretty high, 150. Hogs are really high, 120. Cattle is 118. So the meats are holding up there. Uh, Copper is over 450. Small caps had a huge day today. Huge day, the small caps. Let me see here. I think they were the leading index. Yeah, up 32. Up one. 1.43 percent they, they've been lagging so and the VIX you have it at 1642 so we're getting pretty low on the VIX um, I remember uh, a while back the VIX was um, about 10 and that's pretty that's pretty crazy those levels so small caps are looking good there's some some good small caps there that have been doing good for me and I'll go over them um, that I've been holding um, that, that I, you know, buy and hold. Um, NASDAQ's doing pretty good, approaching that 14K level. What's the all-time high on the NASDAQ? So the high on the NASDAQ would be 14064. That's the all-time high. So all the indexes are pretty much close to their all-time highs or, or yeah, pretty much right there. And the Dow Jones is 35K. Platinum and Palladium have been pretty range brown. Uh, Net gas is over three. It's at three ten over three bucks. Silver back over twenty eight. Uh, we talked about the VIX. Grains have been strong, but remember we got that that ag report. Uh, I heard over the weekend uh, that the ag report is Thursday, so got to look at that report uh, after it comes out in the evening to see what's going on with the uh, with the um. With the with the agricultural market, um, interest rates pretty stable. Uh, right now they're pretty flat, but we just opened up the futures, but they're pretty flat. Um, some of the stuff that's been working for me, I did some notes here for you. Um, BBIG, which I did a video. Uh, you can go back to my archives or blog and see that I did a video on that one. That one's been doing well for me. Con, uh, they sell appliances. And I got into Con before the big move on earnings because Whirlpool 
uh, has some good news, so I figure it will it will be a um, a correlated play with Whirlpool's earnings call. Uh, the metals, I like the metals. Uh, gold and silver are doing well for me. I have some futures. The Mimi stocks. Um, I'm sure currently GM. E GameStop and AMC. Uh, I'm I'm short those um, on those big moves they had. Um, they seem to be in play and so moving in the markets. Uh, I'm long uh, BlackBerry, uh, Bed Bath and Beyond, and Nokia. So those are some of the the Mimi stocks. Uh, XERS is a small BIOS doing well for me. Uh, Sava was up for me too as well in sympathy with Biogen on the Alzheimer's. Uh, drug report um, BGS is uh, another high short food play it's been doing good for me uh, probably have to uh, um, look at that one and and, and uh, uh, put an order there for it to close because um, I'm almost at a max profit on that spread um, Siri is doing pretty good Siri um, it looks like it wants to go to seven bucks or maybe even higher so that one's looking good APPH is uh, a marijuana play. It's been doing good. BNGO did good today. Uh, a bio, biopharma play was up nicely today. Ford has been doing very nicely. I have a 15, uh, 15 call on there, and it's been doing good. And Joan is a retailer as well that reported good numbers and, and has been working for me. Um, on the bar chart, I always like to uh, look at bar chart in the evening and see what uh, what was doing good during the day. Um, I'm gonna you can go to most actives, and um, you can see AMC was on the leaderboard. The Mimi stocks, Apple is pretty flat. Blackberries and Mimi stock, Tesla back over uh, six hundred. Uh, Clover Health has been in play too. Neo, nice day. Uh, Sundial, I'm not sure if Sundial is a, a Mimi stock. It might be. Um, Facebook, nice day. CCIV, they have to do with uh, Ride, I think. And uh, they have uh, an electric car, EV car. Uh, Planeteer, uh, it's in software, defense, uh, cybersecurity. Pretty good. Microsoft, nice day. Nvidia, nice day. Nvidia is over 700. Pretty nice. Uh, there's Nokia, which I mentioned as a Mimi stock. Flat AMD, Telray. Uh, Telray's been having a lot of calls. They got upgraded, I read, over the weekend uh, last week. Um, Amazon down. Fubu. A lot of shorts in Fubu. Oh, that's uh, uh, BNGO, that biopharma I was mentioning to you. That's working good. Workhorse, another highly shorted stock. I mean, it seems like from what I was reading that, that these re uh, Reddit traders um, and these retail uh, uh, blog traders that are in chat rooms and stuff are going uh, after these, these uh, uh, stocks that have high short interest. So some of these that are popping up here, on this first most active page are shorts stocks that have high short interest um space is another one fisker um but you can see a lot of green across the board um the market's in an uptrend so things are, are are looking good for the bulls um so anyways that's a little recap of uh the most active uh options uh, what's been what what I have in the in the portfolio that's working and some of the market trends I still like the the, the inflation plays um, the metals the materials um, miners uh, what else uh, consumer staples I, I, I like those going forward and uh, probably interest rates will head higher um, so the banks should do good uh, tech um, has bounced back nicely, but if interest rates go higher, those those are the ones that might get hit quicker. Um, and the small caps have been acting well, so and they need to uh, 
catch up on the indexes if they want to uh, be at all-time highs there might be some value there compared to the other indexes um, and there's Biogen up 38 percent of the news um, a lot of the uh, pharma names were doing well BBIG here in the bottom was a good one for me I did a video on them thinking that they would do uh, good eventually and and it's been responding um, DocuSign had great earnings uh, DraftKings had a nice day today I'm, I don't have anything in DraftKings um, what else Snowflake had good earnings Eli Lilly was up in sympathy with Biogen um, Zoom had pretty good earnings Let's go through here. Express is another Mimi stock. Peloton uh, back up over a hundred. Roku three forty one. Uh, Lee is a uh, automaker in China. Chewy has earnings this week, and and Stitch Fix we talked about the head earnings, and those were the top uh, most active uh, one hundred options today um, in the market. Anyways, like the video, share it, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video. Good night.